Well, with that eastward shift Dan was talking about in Francine's path, the storm could make landfall close to Morgan City. And tonight, voluntary evacuations are underway in portions of St. Mary, Iberia, and Lower St. Martin Parishes. News 15's Dracar Francois joins us live from Morgan City tonight. And Dracar, what are you seeing out there? Well, Jim, uh, right now, uh, I guess you could say it's the calm before the storm, as you guys can see right now. Uh, it really isn't raining right now, but we do know that it's expected to get bad. And as you guys can see right here behind me, there are people getting their final preps for Francine. Many people are getting gas and last minute snacks to last them through the next few days. And preps are also going on across St. Mary Parish. Here in Franklin, city officials closed the floodgates to prevent storm surge from flooding the town. Once the heavy rain starts, the city has designated a person to pump water on the other side of the gates, which will stop water from flooding the streets and getting into homes throughout the city. Because it will protect everything south of the railroad tracks in Franklin, which would be the 9th Street, 7th Street, 6th Street area, as well as Pecan Acres. So it will protect everything south of the railroad tracks here in Franklin, which had been prone to much flooding in the past. Uh, in years past, we didn't have this type of control structure. Now we do. Now here in St. Mary Parish, there is a voluntary um, evacuation here in the parish, but if conditions get worse, things could change. Live in Morgan City, I'm Drake Har Francois for News 15.